but ultimately we envision a world in which everything is built with Galvorn. So I'm Brian Guido Hassan. I'm the CEO of Dexman. Dexmat is an advanced materials company producing the highest performance, most sustainable, least expensive conductive material in the world. So I've got a small sample with me. We produce actually several different form factors. This is our conductive wire. It's, uh, it's about 157,000 meters of our Galvorn conductive wire. So that's nearly 100 miles. Um, this is about as conductive as copper, but it's 50 times stronger. So 15 times stronger than steel, actually, and a lot lighter and more flexible than both. So we use Galvorn in a number of conductive wire and cable applications. So ultra lightweight um, signal wires or sensor wires in aircraft and spacecraft, for example. We do the same thing in automotive. So we're working with Formula One race cars to reduce weight, replace copper with Galvorn, trim milliseconds off their lap times. We're increasingly doing it also in power grid infrastructure. So we produce lighter, stronger, easier to install, faster to install, more resilient to extreme weather, power transmission lines, for example. And suddenly we're now going kind of beyond the power grid, behind the meter, and producing ultra kind of thin, flexible, durable, high thermal conductivity data cables in data centers as well. So they can squeeze more GPUs in the same space and use a lot less energy to kind of conduct the, uh, the heat. I'm still an early stage venture, but growing very rapidly. So growing exponentially, we've scaled up our production capacity by about 3000 X since we kind of graduated from Rice University and we're gonna 10 X again here over the next year. Um, with that, the cost curve is coming down exponentially as well. So we've hit um, we've hit cost parity with kind of the aerospace grades of copper, but actually at reasonable commercial scales, this will be less expensive to produce than even commodity materials like steel, aluminum, and copper. So today we're mostly in conductive applications, but ultimately we envision a world in which everything is built with Galvorn. Buildings, bridges, vehicles. We have architects who are designing buildings that uh, use Galvorn. They use 95% less um, kind of structural material than buildings that use steel or other more typical structural materials. Um, we have civil engineers who are designing bridges that are 20 times longer than the maximum length of a bridge that's constrained by the weight of steel. But ultimately, this all came from the genesis of nanotechnology, which began you know, 40 years ago right here at Rice University with Bob Curl, Rick Smalley. Uh, and I'm really proud to say that one of the co-inventors of this material is Rick Smalley. So even though he left us far too early, we're carrying on his legacy. We've done a lot in 40 years since the discovery of Buckminster Fullerene. In the next 40 years, we're gonna do a lot more.